Sorry, what's this? Chance for us to say hello to a, an absolute doyen of radio and television. You talking about me? Mr. Bruce <laughs> oh, Mansfield. Thank you very much. How do you do? How do you do? It's nice to see you. I haven't looked across yonder yet. Do you have your uh, your partner with you uh, this yes, morning? Yes, looking very uh, just tanned. And, uh, he looks gorgeous. I've got to say that for a man. Yes. <laughs> Look at Mother and the tie. Yes. Why are you all dressed up? Just felt like it. Oh, well, just felt like exactly. it, he said. Yes. yes. Well, you look very sharp, too. You tie. Yeah, lovely, lovely, it's lovely. like a Palaco ad, doesn't it? Remember the old... Yes, I certainly do. It is indeed a lovely, lovely shirt, shirt, sir. Uh, yes. That's Rick Milne you've just seen, by the way, and he's, uh, he's basically the brains behind this particular segment, isn't what, he? What am I, Bert? Well, <laughs> would you like me to tell <laughs> you on not national not, television? You. <laughs> what are we looking at specifically this well, morning? Well, specifically, Bert, we're going, <laughs> going for a look and down... Why are you laughing? Oh, well, because you're putting on this false... Uh, uh, I'm not false enthusiasm. No, I'm always delighted to see you. Yeah. I'm always amazed that you'll work for the money. Anyway, listen, what are we looking at this morning? Uh, we're going to Chapel Street Bazaar. Now, don't start. Now, listen. Yes or no, boys? Do you or do you not think that there is some, there is some devious thing happening between this bloke and the uh, parameter called? Chapel Street Bazaar. Let yes or no? Yes. 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 You are taking grub, you. you're taking money from no, them. No, I'm not. Some of his stuff is not worth showing. I'm going to say Some this. of whose stuff? Rick Mills. So what we do is blend the others in. But you haven't had one of Rick's things on for th six months. Oh, it is pretty ordinary, isn't it, eh? What the hell's that? Now, but when your mother made a pie in the yes. old days to prevent the pie blowing up because of the heat under the crust, she would stick in it. To, to... How do you know that? Well, all mothers of the, at those times were well, very creative. My mother certainly did. <laughs> when your mother wanted to get her air out or wind out of her pie, she would have that in the middle. Absolute rubbish. Uh, did your oh, mum do that? Yes, all the time. Well, no wonder the way you've turned out. I mean, that's <laughs> obviously food poisoning. Now, uh, well, what oh, are they? How much are they and where well, are they all from? All right, just a moment. They are from the Chapel Street Bazaar, 20 to $45 each. But, but how old are they? They are from the 30s. They, are, they were in tops of pies. It's like working with a headmaster here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Yes. Uh, and they were placed in pies just to get the wind out. I can see you through there. Look ah, at that. Hello. I can hello. see you too, Bert. <laughs> Wonderful television, isn't it? Though? Okay, what's next? Some groovy sunglasses. These are beauties from the 1950s. You look at that and you think, ha, huh, a pen. Not. It's uh, a case shaped like a pen with a little clip on the side. Now you take these out, Bert. Now be careful. He's got to go back to Philip, haven't they? I know. And these are <laughs> very, very costly. They look at the size of them. Yeah, tiny little. From Japan. And they're from the 1950s. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? And what would they be worth? They're about $375. Bro. Right. right, very attractive. Yeah, look very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, what's, uh, what's next? Uh, a fabulous old match holder. Oh, Rather yes. lovely because of the advertising involved but in tell it. Tell us more, please, Bruce. This would be placed uh, at the turn of the century, in the 1900s, in a hotel on a bar. And big matches, which were a lot bigger than the yes. matches that we yes. have today, yes. would be placed in them. And, of course, patrons would... Uh, would strike them. But because it's an advertising piece, retails about 75 from 1915. Right. I don't want you to make it sound as if you're selling these things. I mean, they are for, uh, for sale or for auction. Yeah. Or whatever, but make it more of an interest thing, you know. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, that's what yes. you want. Yes. Oh, after years, yes. I'm yes. getting to know this. Four years, right. <laughs> yes. This now, is a cake you, thing, isn't it? No, it's not a cake thing. It's oh, a it? spittoon. Oh, it's so really? watch it. <laughs> well, don't go off it like that. Um, in the, in the 1890s. Why did they have spittoons? Oh, I've got no idea. They were filthy in those days. Uh, <laughs> 1890, they'd go to the hotel and chew tobacco and then aim at yeah, it or something. I don't want to go into it. Yeah. What would it Dirty, be? Uh, filthy thing. What would it be? Uh, you, what would it be you can't give it away. No, no. give it away. <laughs> and that's from the 1890s, is it? Yes, it is. Right. 
Do you remember that teddy bear that we opened up, the little compact teddy bear no. with the powder and the no. lipstick? Oh, well, many honest. people would. That sold for six hundred dollars. That little tiny oh, right. little teddy. Doing bear. news flashes now, eh? <laughs> right. Well, Rick said, why don't we boost ourselves up yes. a bit? Now he's producing, is he? Has <laughs> he got a fair coming up? There's one in Brisbane. Congratulations. Me. Right, now listen. <laughs> Give us some details, please, I, Rick. This Saturday, Bert. Oh, it's right. on at the showground. Yep. And it starts at nine, goes through till four. Good one, Brisbane. Are you going to be up there? No, I won't make that, no. Sorry. Oh, right, OK. Collectorama, RNA, Showground Brisbane, Sunday, May the 4th. That really appeals to me. It's going to be one of the best ever you go. Oh, no, no, I won't be there. <laughs> OK. Oh, it's funny. We'll put up Rick... <laughs> OK. Oh, it's funny. We'll put up Rick's phone number, by the way, because any information you want in, uh, in terms of information on memorabilia or ephemera, you call Rick Milne on that number, 93874131. And there must have been... I've done them a couple of occasions when people have wanted to know things, and he's just terrific. Yes. <laughs> Why are you laughing now? Well, what have you ever wanted to know? No, well, people write to me and they... Wanted to know about the no, Look, Well, people write to me and say, no, I haven't got the answer, so I ring Rick and he tells me to nick off. No, he, he gives me the information, I pass it on to the yes, people. Yes, I don't know. I don't like this. Uh... It's early in the morning. I, it's a dreadful thing to suggest, but you don't go to the Como Bar, do you, before you, you come That's here? That's a shocking thing. You've known me man and beast for 30 years. Yes. We have never... Oh, there was one occasion. Yes. Now... <laughs> <laughs> We've never what? Add a drink. I got hold of this today from a little fella, a little ten-year-old collector, a marvellous drum kit, and he said, oh, that'll be only worth ten, twenty dollars. I said to him, listen, kid, I said, we, we can move that for a hundred and fifty dollars. A hundred and fifty? Isn't that wonderful? Can you beat it? I oh, know, well, I'll go now. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, I mean, is it, is it, is it operable? It oh, absolutely, brand? yes. That's wonderful. It's a Mickey Mouse one, eh? It's a country, well, country rock. Mickey Mouse. Oh, lovely, lovely tone too. That's the base. Uh, that's the the base down there. That's lovely. One hundred and fifty dollars. Yes, indeed. You now, forget. yes. For comic collectors, Felix the Just Cat. Have a look at this. Have a look at this man. Well, look at you yourself. are crying with well, laughter. Well, isn't that better? Yeah. Of course, the real yeah, crying with sadness, yes. No. Felix the cat is a great collectible item in. in well, just How hold, much? hold that. How much? Show it. Um, oh. Well, that's very... We'll come back in just a few moments' time. The man is totally mad, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. We'll take a... <laughs> uh, for some news flash, uh, for some uh, news that... Uh, now you've got me, Go Fluffy. We've got the news coming up in just a, a few moments' time with some, uh, some headlines. Hello again, Melbourne. This is Bruce Mansfield, and hello from John Foreman and Leanne Mercer. Whether you're viewing in Albert Street or Albert Park, or Princess Hill or Princess Park, welcome to the Tuesday edition of Mansfield's Melbourne, Tuesday, June the 23rd, and this tonight is episode 354, your half-hour look at everything that's special. A big night ahead for me. I can't uh, give too much away, but be listening to 3AW's Nightline for a very big media surprise tonight. I can't say anything more. It's a very big week for Mansfield's Melbourne too. Another of our popular Queensland features when we took the cameras up to uh, far north Queensland will be on uh, Saturday and we'll give you a sneak preview tomorrow night. On Friday we're off to Canberra to, fly, uh, to film some very special interviews and do some uh, documentaries in the nation's capital for later this month. But tonight we have a very big show and firstly it's our What's On segment for tonight. Welcome to this Tuesday edition of What's On, and firstly, we're going to Roeville, and hello to my friend Jeff at New Style Fencing. Hello, Jeff. Would you like the, the best-looking colour bond fence on the block? Well, you can, with the unique saw tooth design. Now, this saw tooth design in fencing enables both neighbours to enjoy exactly the same colour and pattern on both sides of the fence, and it's a fabulous idea. New Style Fencing has a large colour range, as well as do-it-yourself kits. They're available in stock, and they, uh, they are fire, termite, and rot resistant, alternative to troublesome timber fencing. When you want the best in steel fencing, demand Gramline. Gram line using Australian BHP steel through new style fencing. Don't risk disappointment by the others. New style fencing, the Melbourne distributors, offer good quality service with trade and public inquiries welcome. New style fencing are at unit number 2, 49 Henderson Road in Roeville. That's just off Laser Drive. And I'd like you to call out and say hello to the boys at New Style Fencing. The phone number is on the screen, 97532430. 
still on What's On and uh, in Melbourne tonight. If you're suffering from exhaustion or depression, arthritis or indigestion, perhaps hormone imbalance, poor memory or concentration, maybe sinusitis, uh, recurrent viruses, eczema, or you'd like a general health checkup. Uh, including iris uh, diagnosis, see Judy Jacker. Judy Jacker is the person to see. She's at Ringwood Natural Therapies. Judy is now re relocated to North Ringwood with 27 years experience. She can assist with any of these complaints using as a blend of minerals, vitamins, herbs, homeopathy, uh, homeopathy uh, flower essences, Bowen therapy and meditation. Contact Judy Jacker if you suffer from any of the complaints and problems that I mentioned earlier at the Ringwood Natural Therapies. A very caring lady, Judy Jacker, and the phone number is on the screen. Judy's there uh, tomorrow, 9876-4770, and make an appointment. We're still on uh, What's On, and now we're uh, on the road. We're travelling up to Emerald and the beautiful Dandenong Rangers, and we're visiting the Apple Pot. Hello to you, Rebecca. The Apple Pot is a terrific place up in the hills to buy gifts of all descriptions, such as country craft and homeware. You can inspect their great range of craft and homewares at your leisure. Enjoy a coffee in their cafe. The Apple Pot, great place to go. As a matter of fact, if you're going up visiting Puffing Billy for a ride. They're just near there. They're open nine to five, seven days a week, and they're conveniently located in Kilvington Drive in Emerald, the Apple Pot. That's all you have to remember, and you can see Rebecca up there. Her, her number's on the screen, 59686411. This is Mansfield's Melbourne on Channel 31. And here's some terrific news. With the fifth birthday celebrations which started today at the Serendipony Collection at Montrose. Now, over the next four weeks, or four days, I beg your pardon, the next four days, my friend Bruce up there is offering 10 to 50% off most stock at the Serendipity Collection. Come and discover the wonderful world of bears and collectibles and bear making too at Victoria's leading supply store. The Serendipity Collection, their fifth birthday sale, continues until Saturday only at 970 Mount Dandenong Tourist Road in Montrose. Open 10 till 5 weekdays, 10 to 4 Saturday and noon to 4 on Sunday. Personal shopping only for the specials that I mentioned. That's, uh, that's only uh, to be expected, but there are no laybys. Hurry to the, Serendipity, uh, the Serendipity Collection. The phone number's on the screen, 9728-1979. We're taking a break on Mansfield's Melbourne. You've enjoyed the television program. Now read the magazine, Mansfield's Melbourne magazine. The May issue is 112 pages packed with articles from Channel 31 viewers. Win a trip to London. Win a defensive driving course. Win great prizes. Mansfield's Melbourne magazine, four magazines for the price of one. The latest in show business news in TV Radio Confidential. A 20-page Nightlines feature and a special lift out on the history of Melbourne radio. Mansfield's Melbourne magazine, just $2 at your local newsagent, out now. Saba Furniture, where there's hundreds of lounge suites in stock. You'll save hundreds of dollars on recliner suites, leather suites, and occasional furniture. You'll save 30% on sofas and sofa beds. And there's free delivery, too. Call and say hello to Joe and Maureen at Saba. See Saba Furniture's Superstore at 802 Burwood Highway, Ferntree Gully. They're open seven days a week, and no reasonable offer will be refused. There's easy parking, too, at Saba Furniture, Ferntree Gully. You can call 9758-8200, 9758-8200 at Saba, 802 Burwood Highway, Ferntree Gully. And remember, no reasonable offer will be refused. Used.
Welcome back and still on the road tonight, if you'd like a small drive, pop into the quick brown fox at Wood End and see my friend Lee Walker. G'day Lee, how are you? Uh, Lee has 30% off all clothing at quick brown fox, 20% off hats and her winter solstice sale is on now. Yes, it is the solstice with the shortest days and the lowest prices. Quick Brown Fox is open every day. And you see, it's more than a gift shop. This is why they do so well. And uh, you'll, you'll find cushions and throws at very special prices. Quick Brown Fox is at number 81 uh, High Street in Wood End. And you can uh, see Lee Walker there. Uh, Lee's phone number is 5427-3099. The Quick Brown Fox. Of course, the, uh, the solstice is with us now, isn't it? We're off to Preston now where they have completed renovation works at Oakville Receptions. Oakville Receptions, you've probably passed it many a time. It's in High Street and Oakover Road. That's right on the corner there. High Street and Oakover Road for Oakville Receptions. You're cordially invited by Frank and Angela to inspect the beautiful two function rooms and appreciate the elegance that they've created at Oakville. They should be very, very proud there. The gourmet menu is supported with excellent service, which will convince you that uh, Oakville is always your very best venue for weddings, anniversaries, big birthday occasions or seminars. Special promotional pricing is offered for bookings taken within the next three months. So get in and call Frank and Angela at Oakville Receptions. The number's on the screen now, 94804266. This is Mansfield's Melbourne on Channel 31, and here's a great idea for a terrific night. The ultimate secure... No, not an ultimate night. It's a, a great idea of the night for the ultimate security collar for your pet. This is a, a marvellous idea. If you do have a pet, I'd like you to listen. Expressage International have a great collar for your dog or cat, which is fitted with a microchip implant. And I get so many calls on Nightline for lost pets on 3AW. This is the boon for anybody who has a pet. If your pet is lost, their receivers can immediately activate the microchip and locate your dog and cat for you. So why stress? It's a marvellous idea. 12-month registrations, in, including card ID, plus a computer listing, all for $12.50. And this is a special until June 30. The Expressage collar is just $35. That's only until June 30. Send a cheque or money order or cash to Expressage International, Level 1, corner of Hawthorne and Glen Ira Roads in Caulfield. The number and the fax uh, number is on the screen, 95243101, or the fax number 95243111. It's a wonderful idea for any uh, missing pets or any animals, in fact. Here's some good news uh, for seriously good childcare solutions from Platypus Junction at the new Beacon Cove development in Port Melbourne. This is just near where Rex Hunt has opened the, uh, the Delish Fish, his new restaurant, from tonight. Beacon Cove development in Port Melbourne. Down there you'll find Platypus Junction Childcare and Kindergarten, created by a family frustrated at trying to find high quality flexible care for their own children. So what do they do? They open their own childcare community. It's the Platypus Junction Child Care Service. Great environment for children. Platypus Junction at Beacon Cove won the Children's Services Best Design Centre. This is an award when it opened in Port Melbourne. Good friends to play with, share with and develop. That's where you'll find your, uh, your children playing with. Uh, good friends. An educational environment where learning and play is part of the structure. A flexible service to cater for one hour to 60 hours of care for your child. Long day care, before and after school care. Pick up and deliver of children too. It's right opposite Station Pier. Find out more about Platypus Junction Child Service. It really is an award-winning service opened by people just like you who were discontented with the aftercare and childcare for their children. So they've got the, uh, the score on the board. Good on your platypus down Port Melbourne Way, just near Rex Hunt's new restaurant. Out to Bandura now and more about Victoria's premier technology business park at La Trobe University. It's called La Trobe R&D Park. It's the perfect location for startup, mature or large high technology businesses. They are business support services and you have access to university infrastructure and expertise. Plus a choice of fully serviced office suites or custom built facilities. 
By gosh, if you were starting a business, you'd start it out there, La Trobe R&D Park, especially with the university uh, 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 implements to use or the infrastructure of the university. La Trobe R&D Park is ideal for conferences, seminars and product launches. Locate your business with the technology leaders. Call Ed Hilliard. Ed Hilliard is waiting for your call on 9479-1945. Good spot, good venue for your, for your new business location. And finally, on what's on for this Tuesday, here's details of new pre-loved and factory seconds from Kids Carousel in Montrose. They have children's wear, nursery furniture, prams and baby accessories at the right price, and Judy from Kids Carousel has discount disposable nappies with excellent quality at realistic prices. Kids Carousel is conveniently located at Shop 5, 926 Mount Dandenong Tourist Road in Montrose. Judy's number's on the phone, uh, on the uh, screen now, 9728-8877. Kids Carousel, for pre-loved and baby factory seconds. It's, you'll save mother up there. Kids Carousel, open daily, except Mondays. And uh, that's the show. We have to leave you now. That's it for another night in our city, but a lovely time with you. Today, Tuesday, June the 23rd, the day when one of my favourites, Diana Trask, was born in 1940. She's 58 today, and remember we used to see her on the sing-along with Mitch television series uh, for so many years, didn't we? She and who was that uh, other lady? Um, oh, I forget her name. It's the day, <laughs> well, don't help me. It's the day when David Letterman show debuted in television 18 years ago. The typewriter was painted today and the saxophone was patented by Anton Sax in 1848. It's the day when John Bobbitt had a big night out drinking and came home and met up with his wife and we know what happened, uh, we know what happened there. Stay tuned for another night of wonderful uh, viewing on, uh, on Channel 31 uh, and join Pete Smith and me. from far north Queensland is on Saturday night. It's a half hour of absolute joy up in the sun, but we've got a preview of it tomorrow night, Wednesday night, on Channel 31 Mansfields, Melbourne. Time for me to go. Thanks for having me at your place. It's good night from Mike McCall-Jones, me, Ash Long, and the rest of the gang. Goodbye now.